Hey everyone, in this video I want to talk about how to load data from external files in Oracle. So this is useful anytime you have a text file, a CSV file, an Excel file, anything like that with data in it that you want to transfer into your database. So you take that data that's in the file, and you put it in a table in your database. So what I have set up so far is I have a directory object that I've already created, desktop. Um, and it's pointing to my desktop. And then I have this file, majors, um, with names, colleges, and majors, separated by commas and new lines for um, each student. So what I'm going to do is create a table called students that loads in this data, and then I'll be able to see it in my database. So to do this, first you have to create a table. And this is kind of a two-part thing. You first create the table, and then after that, you tell Oracle how to load the data into the table. But the, the, the commands to do this are connected. So it begins like a normal create table. So I'll create the students table, create table students. And then I'll have three columns, name, college, and major okay and I forgot the parenthesis all right so after that I now need to use the Oracle keywords to specify that this is going to load in external data so the first thing I need is organizational external or organization external And then next, I need to specify the type. In this case, it's Oracle Loader. And now I need to specify the um, the directory, the Shava parenthesis. The directory is going to be default directory, and then it's going to be the directory that I have the file in, which is my desktop. And this has to be a directory object. So if you don't have a directory, a directory object, you need to create it first. After that, you specify the access parameters. So this is another subsection, and you tell it what the records are delimited by. So in this case, new line. So record delimited by new line. And then you need to specify how the fields are terminated. So how is it going to know where to insert into a new column? You say fields terminated by and then you specify the character that they're uh, terminated by. So in this case, commas. It's just a comma separated list. And then you say what to do with missing field values. So in this case, missing, missing field values are null. So in this case, I won't have any missing field values, but in a real life example, it's possible. Say you had 100,000 rows to import there's a chance that a few of them would be corrupted. So if we're not so much corrupted, but just null for whatever reason, in this case, if they're missing, just put them as null in the database. And then I need to specify the columns in the actual external file. So I'm going to name them the same as the columns in the table. So name, and I can't use varchar2. I need to use a more primitive data type. So in this case, I'll just use car so I'll use that for all three 20 and it's not Oracle data types because this isn't a database it's just um, an external file so it makes sense to use only simple data types because you can't have a var card 2 in a text file it's just characters so I'm just saying that this is at most 20 characters for each one so after that, I need to specify the location. And mine is in majors.txt. And the very last thing I need to do is tell it what to do with um, rejected records. So this is the case where there's something corrupted. Um, you can say stop the whole process after like five corrupted records, or you can just do unlimited like I'm going to do here. 
In this case, there won't be any rejected records because it's so simple, but in a real life case, it's possible. So this is all I have uh, to do to load in the data from this file. So let me run it. And it tells me that table students was created. And the thing about this is it creates the table first, but it doesn't run this part after it until you query the table for the first time. So if there's an error, you won't get the error until you try to query the table for the first time. If there's an error down here, because it creates the table first and then it waits. But there shouldn't be an error. Well, let's just see. So select star from students. And what do we get? We get the students in the file in the table. So we see Stacy USC English, and then we have Kevin uh, WU, and then computer science, and you see all the ones in between. So it's very simple to load in data uh, in Oracle. There are, of course, many, many other parameters that you can use in this statement to generate this table. So if you're interested in it, just look up the docs and um, they can explain it to you. But I figured I'd make this video just to introduce it to you, just in case you didn't know this was possible or you were curious how it was done. So you can see here it's fairly simple. And um, if you want to do anything more complicated, this should be a good starting point. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button down below. If you have any questions for me, uh, just leave a comment and I'll answer them as soon as possible. And if you like my channel overall, please subscribe. So, thanks for watching.